Whether you're trying to hide your inputs so your local opponent can't hear you mashing out that DP, or you're just trying to let your roommate, spouse, or kids remain asleep during your late night lab sessions, there are very real reasons to be aware of the volume of your presses. In this video, we're going to see if we can find the ultimate silent button by testing 12 different types. Before we get into it with the most whisper quiet options, I want to start here with a lot of the standard, over the counter, and unmodded models to help give us a baseline. We've got three of the mainstays on this top row here, Sanwa, Samitsu, and Hori. Those are the base or default buttons in a lot of sticks. Below them are the higher end offerings, the Gravity, the Gamer Finger, and the Crown 202. What are your predictions? Let's listen and see. As we probably suspected, that first row wasn't overly quiet, and I doubt your roommate appreciates your 3am mashing on any of them. As for the more premium group on the bottom, as a whole, I felt they were a bit more quiet than those first three. The reason being is that they all utilize silent linear switches. I'll give the gravity second place here, but we'll also note that the default gamer finger is definitely the most quiet out of this baseline set. So those were all default over-the-counter options used to give us a point of comparison. But how far could we push things if silence was our number one priority? Now that we have a good benchmark for noise, let's bring in six new contenders. Take some mental notes and get out your betting sheets while I talk about each button and we'll see how well your predictions stack up to the results at the end. Up first is a standard Sanwa, except I have inserted a silencing pad. It's one millimeters of foam in washer form, used to dampen the sound and absorb the sharp sound created as the push button plungers tab meets the rim. You can buy them from Focus Attack in batches of 8 for around $2. Next up is this dark red button right here. It is an official Sanwa OBSFE silent button. The plunger's housing was designed specifically to avoid bottoming out, and a softer and rubberized material was used in the construction of the button plunger. They look strange on the sides because they lack the usual cap tabs found in most buttons. For our third option, we are revisiting the big winner from last time, the Gamer Finger, to see if we can lower its volume even further with a switch change. We're going to utilize a Duroc Silent Linear Switch, specifically their Dolphin variant, which is consistently regarded as one of the quietest keyboard switches on the market today. I had to perform a bit of switch surgery and remove the little feet from the bottom of the housing to get them to fit. For our fourth option, we're going to follow suit on a similar path and bring back our Crown 202 from the first round. I really like the feel of these buttons, so I wanted to give it another chance. Plus, you can easily swap switches in this style of button, so we're installing a Gazoo Bobagum variant, another switch known for its completely silent activation. Some astute viewers may have noticed that I've mixed and matched some button caps on these, but that's all for aesthetics and has no bearing on the sound. This smoky colored option here is a Punk Workshop Ultra Thin. Now these aren't necessarily designed with silence in mind, but I thought if there was an echo in the housing that perhaps an ultra-thin button might work to somewhat circumvent that. I kept this one stock since it's still a fairly novel button. They utilize TTC low linear switches, but this is another model where you can easily change to your preferred switch type. And last but not least is our wild card. This is an OSBMX button. It's part of an open source project to bring cheap button options to the masses. It was printed with 9000R resin, and like the Punk Workshop one, it's thinner than the standard. The OSBMXs are floating cap style buttons, so the sound and feel of the button is heavily dependent on the switch used. For these, we are using an Otemu Silent Peach switch. So now that you've met the players, who do you think is going to take it? Which will be the quietest? Pause the video to comment who you think will come out on top for your last chance to lock in those bets. Okay, you're ready? Quiet, please.
Well, let's look at the podium. In third place, we have the Sanwa with the silencing pad. The top two were very close in a category all their own, and actually were much closer than I would have guessed going into this. I had to listen to them several times and get a second opinion before I could finalize the placement. Coming in with the silver medal is the wildcard OSBMX button. It was extremely quiet and just narrowly missed that first place finish. So, as you may have guessed, the coveted quiet award has to go to our Duroc Dolphin Gamer Fingers. This thing was very quiet, and the funny thing is that I don't necessarily feel like the switch upgrades did all that much. Linear switches are all more or less silent, so the button housing, plunger, and overall button construction does a lot more to change the sound even when the switch is silent. In conclusion, even though gamer fingers may not feel the best to me personally, they came out on top as the quietest button in this experiment. Your spouse can sleep easy while you're burning the midnight oil grinding ranked. The surprising wildcard OSBMX button did very well and is nearly as quiet, and it also comes in at a much cheaper price point. And if cost is a primary concern, the silencing pads helped Sanwa finish in a respectable third place. The foam washers muffled quite well for their price, but definitely affected the button feel more than the other options. Still, all are solid options for quieting your button presses. Now, here's some bonus footage just for fun. Someone recommended installing this 10mm heat and sound dampening insulation that you can find at automotive stores. You can cut to fit and layer this inside your stick if the noise is somehow still bothering you. But unless you have a large and mostly hollow metal enclosure, this seems wildly overkill to me. But this does make me think that maybe in the future we can look at silent lovers to help you dial in your ultimate ninja footstep stick. What do you think? Hey, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. If this video was of value to you, I would appreciate a like, and please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hey, support your locals, and I'll see you next time.